You can kind of see the sign there. <laughs> this is Lad Circle. started I would like to also just kind of set the tone we're kind of imagining this to be a sort of mobile meditation a mutual form of meditation where we're coming together and we're healing and we're providing just enough disturbance but welcoming humans into that by still holding a tone of sorts of restoration in our streets. Um, so I'd love if everyone could do our best to embody, embody that however we embody that as we start to stroll and as we start to take our steps in this process. Before we do that, um, we're going to have an offering um, from a loved one and they are going to yeah, share a bit of a, a dance of sorts, a war dance. Um, and yeah, I just want to allow everyone to see that there's ways to embody this battle that we are facing um, in different forms, in different languages, in different expressions. And uh, yeah, even when we sit here and we're just breathing and just strolling down the street, we are in battle. This is still the battle. And so don't allow yourself to feel as though you're not contributing to the fight tonight uh, because this is the fight.
saying some phrases. But I want us to repeat, and I'm going to need the help of those who can hear my words to repeat them so that we can get them to the back. Yeah. And so while we are walking, I want us to be reminding ourselves of our fullness and what we are doing to them. something. We're in a time that, though it's hard, it is. It is beautiful and it is bountiful and your destiny is just a moment away at any at any given time and that's that's not to take for granted, that's not to be callous, that's to just keep with you at all times. Oh, oh, oh. 
This is for George Floyd. This is for Breonna Taylor. This is for Patrick Cummins. This is for Tutu Doe. This is for Tamir Rice. This is for all the names I can't remember. Because why do I have to be able to remember a, a thousand names like it's a history test? There's more names for every city. Me and my friends talk and say, do you remember that person from there in Baltimore? There are multiple people in every city every year. Every year. Last night, here. Every day for us is a struggle. So I know for me and all the other black people here, this is not some, oh, we're into this shit right now. This is some, we got no other choice. This is the moment we're striking this curve because we have no other choice. This is all the money we have. If y'all go home, cool. You know who's not going home? Are you going home? No. I'm not going home. You know why? Because as soon as this ends, people ask me, are you afraid to get arrested? Are you afraid to get killed? I'm going to get arrested and killed every day. Every day. This movement ain't nothing new for us. So we won't go home. We won't go home. It's a revolution, and so we on the move. It's a revolution, we don't know where we're going. We ain't going home. I call my mama on the phone, talk, I'm rolling. Like I got lots of money. Oh, I don't I'm trying to write. <laughs> we won't go home. 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 Children's life. 
it's not gonna be over. Until until we all look the same color, which I don't know if that's gonna, I don't know if that is the true Western society, these issues will never fully go away. It's about resilience. It's about being willing to listen. It's about trusting yourself, your intuition, and those around you. Because this is a fight. This is spiritual warfare, and it will last your and my entire life if we need to see the changes that we need to see pass through. By the time I die, I won't see everything I want to see pass through. I know that. I will die with hope for my children. We all will. But if we don't fight now, then they have no hope. Right now. Right now. Every day. From here on out, how do you get involved? How do you go forward? How do you make this a part of your life? Like we said already, this is church. This is how you need to participate. How are you disrupting your neighborhoods? How are you making people uncomfortable with the truth of your reality? This is what it looks like for me. Huh? How are you gonna do that every day? That's what it's gonna take. inside of your body right now as we continue to move forward. I want you to bring your attention to your feet and just feel your feet and the sensations pulsing through them. Follow that feeling up through your legs Be grateful for the fact you have both still. Bring that feeling and sensation up through your body, up through your organs, your liver, your intestines, your heart, up through your lungs. Let that sensation travel through your arms your biceps, your triceps, your elbows. Just register the sensations in your body. Feel the aliveness in all of these parts of your body. Your beautiful, divine, sacred body. Let that feeling extend into your forearms, your radius, your ulna, through your hands and fingertips. Feel the sensations of your fingernails. Tap into that feeling. Bring awareness back into your body. 
up to your neck, up to your throat, into your head, your jaw. If your jaw is clenched right now, relax your jaw. If your shoulders are clenched right now, relax your shoulders. Feel the sensations in your lips, your nose, your eyes. Bring your awareness and attention into your pineal gland, the center of your brain. Feel the power of your humanity. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. Sit in gratitude for this vessel that you are walking in that is temporary. We will not have this vessel forever. Be grateful that we still have it, that it is still powerful, that it still holds tremendous energy and magic. Recognize, as Christian was saying earlier, this is spiritual warfare. The powers that think they are wish to deplete our energy, wish to deplete our resources. It is extremely important that we come together and be appreciative of our lives, of our bodies, of our energy. Replenish, restore that energy. Any tension you may be feeling in any of your body, try to pinpoint it, feel into that, and release it. Release any, any pent up negative energy. Shake it out if you need to. Breathe through it. It is important to always remember to take a step back and just feel alive. Feel the aliveness in your body. As we are able to replenish ourselves, we are able to step back into this movement stronger, sharper, more aware, more relaxed, more ready to win. Because this is a war. There are battles each and every day. And it is important to have rest days. It is important to take a step back and reflect on your humanity, on your divinity as a human being. And to come together in community to look each other in each other's eyes, to honor each other, to see the sacredness of each other's lives, right? And come together and just be in community. This is a very beautiful moment. I feel like many people were needing. I'm gonna speak for myself. This is a moment I feel like I've been needing. If you can relate to that, raise your hand. So moving forward, this is definitely something we need to do more often, right? More regularly, every every at least two weeks, bi-weekly. Yeah? Okay. And, and yeah, 
you can do it on your own as well. Yeah, it's so easy to get caught up in this war <laughs> and neglect self-care, right? I know I have. I meditate every single day. This protest is not allowing me to do that. I'll be sitting down trying to meditate and I can't. My brain is too frazzled. It helps when we come together and we all do it together. I am. You're fine. You're fine. We all are. We all are. We are trying. We are trying. Yeah. 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 Continue, yeah. continue, continue yeah. to just feel the aliveness of your body. It is important to not always try at the same time, right? It is important to just let it, let it be. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just not trying mm -hmm. brings you peace, mm -hmm. right? Because we're always trying yeah. to just, oh, I want this to work. You know, somebody just gotta throw your hands up, look up in the sky, just smile, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm very appreciative of everyone who has come out and just band in community with us. Kept a nice low energy, but it's a it's like a hot coal, right? Shout out to Leo season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. I am a Leo too. So. Happy birthday. Shout out Leo, July 24th. I, 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 August 11th. Watch out behind you there. Thank you. It's a birthday. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> <laughs> so as we continue, I do want to encourage folks to just remain moving at a slow pace, remain thinking at a slow pace, right? This is a time for everyone to just simply slow down a little bit and reflect and feel our humanity. When we get back out in the field, things will be moving quick, as always. And we need that balance, right? Everyone take a deep breath. And just smile. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it. It's in the air. It's in the air. I'm not even smiling. I'm not smiling. I'm not even doing it. I'm not doing it. No, nope, don't do it. It's nice to just like relax and not have to feel so alert, right? And just let let my senses kind of relax. No real no real care in the world. It's important to feel those those pulses, those uh, those vibrations, right? Because those are healing. Those are restoring. Those are revitalizing, rejuvenating. So take that feeling and try to implement it into your life, into your daily life more, more often. Because that energy is key. We can bring that back into the Justice Center back toward the precincts, right? Mm -hmm. And actually channel that. Mm -hmm. That energy is kind of what we all are fighting for, mm -hmm. right? We want to be feeling that more often. Collective and the system is set up in a way that does not allow us to. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. think about how you can bring this feeling more into your daily life. How we can bring that into our protests and into this revolution because mm -hmm. the revolution is really that's 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 the feeling that we want right mm -hmm. yes 
Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Take a deep breath. Hold. Let it go. Feel the energy. Take another deep breath. Can I get a woo? Woo! I wanted to take a moment uh, to talk about love and what love is, right? Um, I think we've all heard the, the quote, the saying, love is patient, love is kind, right? And it is, it is both of those things. But I think love is so much more than that as well. Love is also fierce. Love is incredibly strong. Love is elastic. Mm. Mm. These are powers that aren't often talked about. You hear on the radio so many songs about love. But I think it's, it's a surface level, trivial kind of love. I think we can go a lot deeper. And I want to go a little deeper with y'all tonight. Yes. In this go concept, ahead. right? Please. There's a song, some of y'all might have heard it, by Sade. Yes. Oh. Uh, soldier of Love. Soldier of Love, right? Let's look at that concept. Someone who fights, but they don't fight out of hate. They're not fighting out of anger. They're mad, yes, they're angry. They're mad as hell. But there's something else there. And that's that love, right? We're all here for the same reason. We're here because Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. We're here to state that undeniably from the bottom of our hearts yes. and let it be heard from the tops of the towers and mountains. That's why we are here. Yeah. And that phrase, that understanding is predicated on love. It's predicated on love for mm -hmm. our black brothers, mm -hmm. sisters, non-binary family, all of us, mm -hmm. us. Because a soldier of love, what a soldier of love does is they see injustice and they see oppression and they say absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely no. fucking not. I will, I will not stand for this. And so they fight at the Justice Center every night. We fight every night for love. Am I right? Yes. That's the source. And when you're out there, when the tear gas is flying, when those bullets are getting sprayed, when the adrenaline is rushing, I want you to dig back. I want you to remember this moment and conjure up that sense of love. Okay. Yeah. Because that can be the engine that fuels your car. Uh -huh. yeah. That can be the engine, that is the power. There's a, there's a metaphor that I like to think of, right? For what we're doing out here. We are recharging our spiritual batteries. Yes. yes. Right? Yeah, we are taking that moment to inhale, to exhale, to contemplate. Mm -hmm. Right? Because a soldier of love is also inherently a thinker. A soldier of love is someone who knows why they're out there, philosophically, deep in their soul, because we believe in peace. Yes. But the thing about peace is, the thing about equity, is that power will never relinquish itself willingly. Mm. Let me say that again. Power will never relinquish itself willingly. Yeah. And so it falls on the peaceful, the loving, the kind, to be strong. Yeah. Because in this moment, we don't get to be patient. We don't get to be kind. Because there are forces out there that are counting on that, that are counting on our weakness, 
on our passivity, yes, on our gentle nature, yep. to oppress, yep. to exploit. That is the lineage of this country. That is the lineage of the world. Yes. If you study history, colonialism is not a new thing by any means. No. And when it comes from, it comes from soldiers of hate, right? Oppressing those who love. Yes. And time after time, the peaceful, the soldiers of love, us, stand up and we say absolutely not. Absolutely. Yes. Say that one more time. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. No, no, no. We will not tolerate it. No, we have it. We're done negotiating. We have it. We're done writing letters. Yeah. We're done with education awareness. These are all essential tools. But it's fallen on deaf ears. Yes. And now we move to the next step. Yes. And that is action. Yes. Direct yes. action. Yes. No, action that cannot be ignored. No. Right? And we have the highs and we have the lows. And right now, this is one of those lows. Not low as in sad or depressed or melancholy. Low as in the dark night of the soul. Am I right? The dark night of the soul. And what that means is... What that means well, is, gang, Joseph Campbell gang, gang. You have to fall. You have to fall into yes. crisis. Yes. yes. You have to go deep Rise into the, the darkest Phoenix, parts baby. of your heart, of the heart of the world. You have to stare that pain and that suffering in the yes. face. How you grow? And you have to recognize that you are stronger than that. Yep. And then, once yes. recognizing that, you have the capacity to return mm. to the world transform right and this is that moment of transformation right yeah. here right Can now you feel it in your body right now this is it feel it baby right? yeah. we all just work day jobs right uh, we all just some. lived our nine to five whatever but it got to a point where we said we can no longer continue with the, with the level of suffering that is happening in the streets in this country and in this world yeah. Yeah. And so, in order to solve the problem, we had to rise to a higher level of thinking. Not just cognitive thinking, emotional thinking. Because what is empathy but saying, I see you in your suffering. I would not tolerate it for myself, therefore I will not tolerate it for you or for anyone, right? And that's what allyship is, and that's why I want to thank all of our allies who are here tonight. Right? Say it again. Can you say the definition again? Say it again. Oh, well, empathy? Yeah, say it again. So, say it with your chest. Yeah. <laughs> empathy is the ability to see the suffering of others and recognize that you will not tolerate it. Recognize that you would not tolerate it for yourself. And say, so I will not tolerate it for my sister, for my brother, for my family, for my friends, for the person down the street who I've never met before, right? But I have the emotional wit and depth to put myself in their shoes, right? And it's, it's difficult, it takes work because of privilege, right? We're all born with varying degrees of privilege. A lot of folks are born with white privilege in this country. And a lot of the time, people don't really recognize what that actually is, what that means. A metaphor I like to think of to describe white privilege is that you're on a sailboat, right? And this quality, this experience of white privilege is the wind at your back propelling you forward. You can't see it, you can't feel it, you can't smell it, you can't touch it or taste it, but it pushes you along. Meanwhile, those who do not have that privilege, those who are oppressed, black, brown, indigenous, people of color, the disabled, the queer, right? All of us, we have wind buffeting against us. And we feel that, we feel that slowing our sailboat. And we see the sharks in the water, and we smell the blood, right? But because of white privilege, you're allowed to not smell the blood in the water. And I'm not here to chastise. I'm not here to push anybody away. I'm here to recognize and to acknowledge that it does take empathy for you to be standing here today. Because I would be standing here if it were you. 
If it were me in your place, I would be standing here. So thank you, everyone, for standing here. And I, will, and I want to say, it's all love. It's all love. Even in the most heated moment, even when you're the most afraid, the most angry, I want you to dig down and reach. Reach for that, that nugget of love in your soul, and I want you to nourish it. I want you to recognize it as a flower that you water, that day after day you cultivate and grow. Because a movement, this movement, this revolution, it doesn't just happen. You cultivate it. Every day you work at it, like any relationship, you make it grow. And by showing up night after night like you do in the middle of the goddamn night, we are growing stronger, not weaker, stronger. And we will show to the agents of hate, the administration, the man occupying the White House, the feds, we will show them that soldiers of love always inevitably defeat soldiers of hate. That's what we're gonna show them. We're gonna show them, y'all. It's all love. It's all love. Remember that. Own that. That is your power. That is your super power. And I want you to use it. Thank you. Amen. Woo! Thank you. Ray! Ray! Uh, Ray is one of the band leaders for the Frontline Drumline. Yes. Uh, they posted on the... These protests are not seasonal. I repeat, these protests are not seasonal. Yep. And when you are a black person, you are protesting the day you are born. And we appreciate you guys all being out here. It's very, very peaceful, walking up and down the streets. And part of, in a neighborhood where I sometimes don't feel welcome as a minority and as a black person. But I love how no one has disturbed us. We've kept the peace, we've been therapeutic, and we've stayed together, and we've stayed tight. <laughs> so I want to thank you. Also, all the musicians to the front, please. One, two, three. Our protests are not seasonal. Oh, 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 oh,
that's calm down a little bit. Our minds are all active and that's fun. Just when we're all here. Keeping the peace. We're gonna go back to our therapeutic circle. I like to call this part therapeutic circle time. <laughs> Truly. I would like to share some of a poem. Um, I think to like close out. Also feel free to you know, close out is arbitrary. Whatever you need in these next moments to decompress and network or bring each other closer in community, um, yeah, do what you do. Uh, this is a closing of sorts, right? But let us remain open. Let's remain open. Do you know the difference between overstepping and understanding? Did you know that there's an art to showing up without demanding? There's a fine line between compassion and compression. I'm taking notes and taking names for my existential lesson collection. See, I'm not here to crowd you with my insatiable crave to help. If you smother the freshly fallen snow, you'll just accelerate its melt. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'll try not to claim that I do, but if you feel like you're failing the mission, well, you can consider me failing too. I will never know what it's like to live in your life to embody your vessel, to carry your strife, but I will be here experiencing my experiment next to you. I'll be in your corner cheering on all the work that you do. I'll be a safe space for you to celebrate, to bathe in your worth. I'll be a silent whisper for when you feel like you're the only one left on earth. I am here for you because I am finally here for me. The chaos will ensue, but it's not my identity. I've got work to do, but to wait is not my destiny. Every time that I break through, there's been no one standing next to me. I am further. I am deeper than any situation that may arise. I've learned to nurture my darker features, for there are shadows in my eyes. Separating myself from the things I cannot change, from the things I do control. A witness to the cosmic planes, but a master to my own soul. I am human. I am perpetual confusion. I'm collecting my light, creating my warmth through interpersonal nuclear fusion, holding my pieces together with primordial ooze, weaving and arriving in wonder with every step that I choose. So, are you with me? Yes. It's okay that some are not, because as long as I am with me, I will push forward with all that I got. I'm nothing more than a simple drop of sand, a mere scratch on the surface of things I have yet to understand, but I know one thing. That I've got me and me alone, my blood, my breath, my bleeding heart, my sturdy, steady bones, and with each breath, I welcome you to my humble abode, taking each step on this earth as though I'm walking in my own home. 